We are providing some speakers tonight. We're calling it at t Presents Technology and Leadership Talks. And so with that, let's give her a round of applause and have Emily come up. Thank you so much, James. Good evening, everyone. It's such a pleasure to be here. So right out of college, I became a high school math teacher at one of the top boarding schools in the United States. So when you're on a math team, you're essentially preparing for competitions with other high school students, both locally and nationally. I'll admit it, I was pretty intimidated. They were really sharp. They would sometimes see things that I didn't. How do I make these really bright students even smarter? And so I confided this feeling in a mentor of mine he said, you don't have to be smarter than your students. You just have to be more prepared. I think for me, the, the greatest lesson I took away from this was that empowering people to you know, get, get these successes to these outcomes was really a, a powerful thing and something that I've taken away um, in my career at at and So the same framework also applies as we've been taking on generative AI and um, you know, thinking about what comes next in the technology frontier. There's a thoughtful preparation and execution that needs to happen to ensure that we're doing that well. And I think AT&T has been navigating this very successfully. I've been with the company for seven years, but I started as an undergrad at the University of Texas at Austin, so I'm a proud Longhorn, hook 'em horns. Before I came to at and I had a completely different career in fashion. I worked for a large luxury retailer, and one of our jobs was traveling the world, going to Fashion Week, and bringing the best luxury goods to our customers around the country. They talk a lot about pivoting in business school. I'd say a pivot is like a 90 degree change. This is more like a complete 180. So I went from the runway to, it sort of looks like a runway, but much lower fashion. This is a central office. Um, and not everybody may be familiar with a central office, but you've probably driven by quite a few before. They're usually large cement windowless buildings, and sometimes they don't even have the company logo on it for security reasons. My central office was the Northern California hub for AT&T, so it was located in downtown San Francisco. It was about 11 stories, and there were 10 technicians working in there. So you could go hours working on in a floor and not see anybody. From the runway to the central office, seems completely different, right? But the outcome's the same. And I think you'll find that in any business or any industry that you work in, at the end of the day, when you boil it down, you are delivering some kind of an objective for a larger purpose. If you've worked with me, you know that I reference IQ and EQ quite a bit. We all know what IQ means, but what is EQ? Well, it's emotional quotient. IQ determines 20% of business success, EQ determines the rest. Another way to think about it is IQ will get you hired and EQ will get you promoted. What the Chief Data Office does, we set the vision for data and AI across at and And then we encourage people, we evangelize this, we set the bar high. We want to make at and great at data and AI. We are part of at and to deliver value. We do it, we're an incredible technologist, but we're here to make a difference. Generative AI is such a seismic change in how we do things, but it's tied to, to the, what it, we've, we've done forever. It's data, it's automation, it's traditional AI and generative AI. That's what makes a difference. This next phase, bringing all that along, will change the way we work. You've heard from, from you know, these guys, how we've rallied around this technology and the companies rallied around it. And we have incredible goals to deliver this to make a difference in how efficient we are, in how we find new opportunities to serve our customers, and in how we just run the business in general. So it's, it's an exciting time. Things change on a daily basis. I mean, but we're doing it to deliver value for the company.